Hey guys, in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to do an effect. And this effect is going to be a diamond effect, which you can uh, put on your fonts to get that blinged out look um, when you're doing your flyers or whatever project that you're working on. It's a very simple technique that I've been using for a while. Um, so I'll just get right into it. Um, for this particular exercise, I chose a dark background because the, the diamond effect seems to look a lot better on a darker um, background, but you can also use it on white or a lighter one and just put a drop shadow or something behind it. Um, but first of all, you just need to uh, type in what you need to type um, for the title. In this case, I'll just put a, uh, a sample. I'll just put sample. Let's say S M O P L E, and I'll enlarge it. Um, the diamond effect looks best when you're doing a a thicker font as opposed to the smaller ones. I mean, the smaller ones are fine, but for some reason, it, the diamonds just pop out a little better when you're using a a thicker font. So, um, what I'll do is I'll just go to uh font maybe uh let's do uh impact which is a bold font okay now what you'll have to do at this point is you'll take uh your color palette and this needs to be black and white right now we have red a quick and easy way to do that is just push the letter d on your keyboard and that'll automatically by default make the black your foreground and your white your background. And once you have that, then you're good to go. Um, and at this point, we have our um, text up there. We need to rasterize this text. So make sure that your spelling is correct and everything because once we rasterize it, you won't be able to go back and change any uh, lettering it is what it is and it'll stay that way you know you have to just do it all over again so make sure your spelling is correct alright what I'll do is go to uh, rasterize type layer and that becomes rasterize now what you need to do is get your marquee tool right here and just enclose the whole word and there is an easier way to do it, but this is the sim this is the simplest way that I can explain it to you. Now you just push the arrow up, and now you have your whole word um, outlined with the marquee tool. So now you just simply need to go into your filter and go to uh, render, and then go to clouds. Now you have your clouds on top of your your fonts or your or your title. Click off of that. Okay, now what you want to do is go into your filter box again, going to your filter gallery. What you would need to do then is go to distort, go to glass, make sure that you have tiny lens selected. Um you can make the size of the diamonds um, to be more realistic I would probably make them just a little bit smaller and push OK now we have the base for the diamonds alright now what you want to do is go into your layer styles so double click on the layer it'll bring up your layer style click on stroke now that you have your stroke up make the size um, according to whichever size your font is um, I'm gonna make this uh, stroke white for now and I'm gonna put about a about an 8 on there for the size then once I got the stroke on there, then I just need to go to the bevel and emboss. Go to bevel and emboss, and I click on the contour, and this contour here, which is a 
ring you want to put the ring on there go to your style bevel we're going to use a stroke emboss for this one and we're going to bring up the depth a little more we're going to bring up the size size uh, I would say the size is usually the same size as the stroke. So I had a stroke at eight, so I'll make the size of the um, the bevel the same size at an eight. So now we have the border for the diamond, and that looks good. Sometimes I'll put like an inner shadow just to give some separation, give some, give a little bit of depth. All right. Now let's go to the image. Go to adjustments. Go to your brightness and contrast. Let's give it just a little more contrast to give it that separation that it would need. And even a little more brightness to give it that pop, that bling. That's so eye catching. All right. So there we have it. Now what we want to do is give it some bling. We want to have that glow to give it that pop that it needs uh, so it can really shine and stand out. So what I do is I make a new layer on top of your title layer. Then go to your Marquise tool and make sure that it's a circle. Once I have it at a circle, uh, I say I'll make the feather the feather I'll make about 30. Then I'll hold down the shift key and just make a perfect circle. Then I'll make sure that the foreground color is white. That's what color the, the bling is going to be. So we make that white. Then we go to the paint bucket tool and dump that paint bucket right into that circle and you have a little glow and what that glow does as you'll see in a minute when I move it on top of the diamonds is give it a more realistic feel as far as how the light will be shining on top of the diamond and I just duplicate it um, you know on the Mac if you're working on a Mac you just hold down the option and click on your your mouse and drag and it automatically duplicate it um, so you know you don't want to overdo it but just make sure you get that nice nice shine you can even make some of them smaller and basically that's it have a nice little platinum edge with the diamond in the inside you can even make the outside gold you know sometimes the gold looks good um, I can give you a quick I can show you how that looks real quick all you have to do is just go to the uh, stroke and just change the color of your stroke uh, you can change it to the yellow I mean that's a little bright but you can even tone it down a little bit to give it a more realistic gold look something like that you just play with it and whatever looks good to you you just keep so there you have it that's a um, little simple diamond effect that you can apply to your text um, so I hope you have a lot of fun with it